If you are looking to impress that special someone for Valentine's Day, why not prepare a romantic meal yourself? This morning, our chef in a shoestring will show us how to make a Valentine's Day brunch on our shoestring budget of just $40. Dan Frazier is the acclaimed chef and owner of Dovetail here in New York City. He's also opened What Happens Next, a temporary restaurant downtown that will stay open for only nine months with the menu changing every month. John, thanks for coming in. Good morning. How unusual is that to have a restaurant nine months? And... Uh, it's pretty unusual. Yeah. Maybe not the smartest business decision I've made, but <laughs> it, it sounds good. nonetheless, let's go. Good luck to you. Okay, what's Thank the you. menu today? So we've got uh, three quick things here. Uh, very, very simple. Most can be done the night before. The right. first is a uh, piquillo pepper frittata. Mm -hmm. uh, the second is French toast with uh, bananas foster on Ooh. top. And the third is a champagne cocktail made with uh, pama and uh, champagne. Okay, let's get going. Please start with the eggs. Okay, we're going to go just all in here. You can just start, yeah, your, your right. job is to pour. My job will be to whisk. You all can right. actually just, just start dumping just stuff. Just start in. dumping the stuff. The whole in. deal, the whole thing. Everything in. Okay. This is all flour. Right. Uh, right. We've got egg flour, uh, baking soda, mm -hmm. scallion, cheddar cheese, right. uh, ricotta cheese, a little bit of melted butter, and to finish here, we'll have some piquillo peppers. Mm, Being okay. uh, Valentine's Day, we might as well go red, huh? Yeah, on the yeah, on, on the spice chart. Where these Not so. Fall? Actually, mm -hmm. it's a sweet. It's a sweet pepper, and it comes from uh, northern Spain. It's it's mm -hmm. more of a smoky than a, than a spicy. Yeah. Go All ahead, right. straight in. Okay. We were talking earlier. We both saw the, the movie Morning Glory. The anchor, <laughs> the anchor Harrison Ford has a wonderful time saying the word frittata. Frit 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 <laughs> it is fun to say. So we're here already. So this is it. It's, okay. it's just that simple. And, mm -hmm. and and this is something that you can do. You know, in the morning and get up, pop it in the oven. All right. uh, it goes in the oven for about. Uh, a total of 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. It starts at 400 degrees and then ends at about 350. I'm okay. just going to go ahead and pop that in now. All right. All so right. easy, right? Yeah, so easy. Exactly. And I'm sorry, how long again, John? So we've, got, we've got about 35 to 40 minutes. Right, it starts right. at 400 degrees for 15 and then it mm -hmm. ends for about uh, 25 minutes. Ah, it comes out like this. Yep. In a 350 degree oven. Oh, so we goodness. got a little heart shaped cutter. We had to go there today, ah, you know? A heart shaped frittata. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very, very go ahead nice. and plate this up here. Okay. Excellent. And you've got a little piece over there for me to try. I do. Why don't you get on that? All right. I had a food malfunction last week, so I'll try to be a little <laughs> more careful this week. And the second, right. the second one, while you're Close while you're up, going there. there. Get any on you? good. good. No, okay, good. perfect. Good. The second thing is uh, uh, French toast. So what we're going to do is the night before we're going to create a custard base, which is uh, milk, cream, sugar, melted butter, eggs, egg yolks and vanilla extract, mm -hmm. okay? And we just pour this right over the top of the French toast. Mm. And this is gonna sit in the refrigerator overnight. Right, those are hearty pieces of bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well. You're gonna wanna use something like uh, brioche or challah bread, something like very full of butter. Okay. Pop this into the refrigerator overnight, and in the morning you're gonna wanna give it a quick sear, pop it in the oven for about 15 minutes until it starts to souffle a little bit, so it's gonna right. puff out a little bit. And to, to dump over the top, we're gonna do a play on a very classic American dessert, mm -hmm. which is Bananas Foster. Yes, so delicious. this one originated down in New Orleans, and it classically has you know banana rum and uh, dark rum. Okay. And what we're gonna do here, instead of the rum, we're gonna use uh, some maple syrup hmm. for okay. breakfast. All right. But if you wanted to add some rum, you can you can go. There. I think if we you, should. I think we should I'm add just, some rum. I'm just asking. Actually, I have some rum here. I think right. we should add some rum actually, <laughs> which we, we do at the very very end. So in, in this right. pan, I've got a caramel, basically a brown mm -hmm. sugar, mm -hmm. cinnamon. Yeah. Just in the restaurant, usually a flame comes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, well, do don't do that. At I don't know. I heard about last week's uh, malfunction, yeah, so I wanted well, to keep it pretty, yeah, uh, yeah. keep it pretty tame today. You know? got my back. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, right. You got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna grab the French toast that I popped in the oven okay. a couple minutes ago. Here, I gotta tell you, this smells delicious already. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna pour that right on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you can see that the the French toast starts to kind of souffle a little mm. bit and puff out, which means it's ready. Ah, okay. Why don't you get in on that? You want to try it or do you want me to do it? Uh, you know, you go ahead and put me to work that today. Over. That's fine. Go ahead, right? you, no do, problem. You're doing such a great work. job. That's fine. Whatever you no want. No problem. No, you're doing such a great job. Yeah. I don't want to. There's a fork over there if you want to try and dig in on it. I think uh, Betty Wynn is going to try Okay. It. <laughs> 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 is going to try this. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. 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 Come on in, everybody. There's all kinds of them over there. there. Let me ask you this before. Well, let me, let's get to the solo first. Yeah, yeah. I get to this really quick. This is a champagne cocktail. Champagne cocktail. Yeah, right. we have pama liqueur, nice. yeah. uh, some pomegranate seeds, and champagne. It's 50-50. Okay. Uh, you know, you can get a little bit tipsy on Valentine's yeah, Day. That's, yeah, that's where they right? tell yeah. me. Let's, the let's take a look at the cost breakdown and see how you did here. There we go. Let's see. $40 budget, $39.51. Let's see where you rank among our top chefs this year. 
Number three. Okay. Not bad. We've had, what, five chefs? You're what number that three? That's, that's not too bad a, at all. That's a bronze medal, right? That's a bronze medal. <laughs> a bronze medal. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Yeah, by the way, it, it is time for you to decide what's on the menu for next week. Now, here are your choices. For a grilled skirt steak, you can call Star Star Zero One. For roasted striped bass, call Star Star Ooh, Zero Two. Awesome. Remember, folks, don't text. Just have to dial. And for whole roasted chicken, call Star Star Zero Three. Standard data and message rate supply. How'd you guys do? How do you like it? I'm loving it. This is, All right. this is delicious. Yeah, yeah. Completely. Yeah. 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 Thanks a lot. Great. Thank you. Right.